Biafra agitation. What Buhari said on the case of IPOB leader Namde Kano, Dave Umahi. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A boy state governor, Dave Umahi, has shared his conversation with President Muhammad Buhari regarding Biafra agitator Namde Kano. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader, faces treason charges filed by the federal government of Nigeria. Umahi told State House correspondent in Abuja on Tuesday that a political solution could resolve the matter. The governor said it was left for Southeast leaders to ensure that the out-of-court settlement option works. The president repeatedly said the matter is in court. We must appreciate his pedigree and integrity. He cannot just as a president say he is going to destroy the matter in court. He said, your cultural leadership should be able to initiate that with Namde Kano's lawyer. This is the over six months and we have been begging the president of Ohanese to take up the responsibility. Omahe recalled a meeting with the Attorney General of the Federation, Department of State Services, DSS, Director General and Inspector General of Police. The boy helmsman confirmed that they all disposed to negotiation, adding that the ball is in our hand. How is the ball is in the hands of the Southeasterners? I don't understand. But um, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying so hard to understand this political solution. Please, can they speak in plain English what this political solution they're talking about is? Because I don't understand. These people, they have offered you their hands for negotiation. I mean, for dialogue, they have come to you, spoken to you calmly. I don't understand what exactly. I think they should break it down. The What are they saying now the candle should do? Are they saying he should plead guilty? Because I do not even understand at all where it is coming from. They should come out and say in clear terms, may I not be barrister? I may not be politician. I'm, I'm not serious. I'm not be barrister and politician. Many people know be. So they should come out and say it in clear terms, in English language. What exactly do they want us to do? What do you want us, us as in the electorates, how do you want us to understand the situa situation? If you want the people to do something, do something and make it open and clear to the electorate so that it will not be as if uh, you are having good intentions then with the electorate will think that the government is holding them. Yes, now, because the government always comes out to say the electorate do not even appreciate them. The electorate do not do this. The electorate do not. Now, they should come out and make it clear that they are not the ones holding these people anymore. Abi, what do you people think? <sighs> nice move, Umahi. The ball is truly in our court. How? Abi, I don't understand. Can, is, is anybody understanding what is going on? Should they explain for me? I don't get. The head of state and governors in the southeast, they are. Easy with your words, easy. I know how frustrated you are, easy. To me, I think they are all playing um, tricks. Yes, they are all playing tricks with this. Because if they can come out to tell, you know, to say exactly, what exactly did this man, what is this man's, what is this man's um, uh, offense? What exactly did this man do? What they are telling him, okay, he committed treason on terrorism charges. Please, where did he commit the terrorism charges? Can they come and tell us where he committed these terrorism charges? You should come and inform us. Where did it happen? How did it happen? Evidence of how it happened? Because I'm not understanding. Do you see how this matter is in court? This is how the matter of if poor man go thief uh, Maggie, one keep of Maggie. Now, so they go keep the man there for five years, and they caught. 
At the end of the five years, they will consider the sentence of maybe two years imprisonment. That's five plus two, that's seven years. That's what Nigerian judiciary system be. So whacked. So whack. Now, another case is in the court. Case such as this, this kind of case with Nigerian government, they like, they will stay in the court too. They have stayed there for one year. Yes. Next month now, make it one year. They will stay there for one year. They will come back, you know. They will keep going off and on. They will keep going off and on, off and on, telling the people, the board is in your court, you know. Tell your lawyer, initiate with your lawyer, this one with your lawyer. And they will keep people, leaving people in a confused state. Till, uh, till whenever. Meanwhile, in this same part of Nigeria, there are some people who that their case, no, they still, no, they even stay. Immediately they get in, they get out. You hear that EFCC, they, they are one man's case. Or oh, the, the law is against one man. Before you will see Jack Robinson, they have sharp, sharp. They have given good judgment. They have, they have, you know, convicted or acquitted the person. But if now one of the masses, they will keep him there. <laughs> okay, well. You people started with court. Let it end with court. Okay. Me, I just fully, I just strongly believe that. And I want us to also be, understand that justice delayed is justice denied. Our style of um, going about things here in this country is left, left. Yes, it's left, left. Court will settle the matter, as you said. Enam Bekanu is not afraid of a court. Uh, yes, him not being afraid of a court is not a problem. My own is how long? For how long? Because you never can tell. The Nigerian government can decide to delay whatever is happening in the court for as many years as they can. You cannot do anything about it. You definitely cannot do anything about it. If they like, they keep the matter there for decades. You cannot do anything. That is why people who know are coming out to say, let's not do this part. Let's not do this part. The only solution to this problem now is if this administration refuses huh, to do the part of dialogue, the other one coming in, hopefully the person is going to want to do the part of dialogue and correct or unite Nigeria. Then the person can begin the process of at least talking to some people, reaching out to some people, and then some people will be brought out of prison because you cannot dialogue while some people are still in prison. Both the, the people from Yoruba Nation, Sondebo, and, you know, the people from Biafra Nation.